A kamado is a clogged hair follicle in the skin. Keratin combines with oil to block the follicle. A kamado can be open or closed by skin, and occur with or without acne. The word kamado comes from Latin to suggest the worm-like look of a blackhead that has been secreted. The plural of kamado is cumdones. The chronic inflammatory condition that usually includes both cumdones and inflamed papules and pustules is called acne. Infection causes inflammation in the development of pus. Whether or not a skin condition classifies as acne depends on the amount of cumdones and infection. Cumdones should not be confused with sebaceous filaments. Comedo type ductal carcinoma in situ is not related to the skin conditions discussed here. DCIS is a non-invasive form of breast cancer, but comedo type DCIS may be more aggressive and so may be more likely to become invasive. Causes Oil production in the sebaceous glands increases during puberty, causing cumdones and acne to be common in teenagers. Acne is also found premenstrually and in women with polycystic ovarian syndrome. Smoking may worsen acne. Oxidation rather than poor hygiene or dirt causes blackheads to be black. Washing or scrubbing the skin too much could make it worse, by irritating the skin. Touching and picking at cumdones might cause irritation and spread infection. It is not clear what effect shaving has on the development of cumdones or acne. Some, but not all, skin products might increase cumdones by blocking pores, and greasy hair products can worsen acne. Skin products that claim to not clog pores may be labeled non-comedogenic or non-acnogenic. Makeup and skin products that are oil-free and water-based may be less likely to cause acne. It is not known whether dietary factors or sun exposure make cumdones better, worse or have no effect. A hair that does not emerge normally can also block the pore and cause a bulge or lead to infection. Genes may play a role in the chances of developing acne. Cumdones may be more common in some ethnic groups. Africans and African Americans may experience more inflammation in cumdones, more cumdonal acne, and earlier onset of inflammation. Pathophysiology Cumdones are associated with the pilospatious unit, which includes a hair follicle and sebaceous gland. These units are mostly on the face, neck, upper chest, shoulders and back. Excess keratin combined with sebum can plug the opening of the follicle. This small plug is called a microcomedo. Androgens increase sebum production. If sebum continues to build up behind plug, it can enlarge and form a visible comedo. A comedo may be open to the air or closed by skin. Being open to the air causes oxidization, which turns it black. Propionibacterium acnes is the infectious agent in acne. It can proliferate in sebum and cause inflamed pustules characteristic of acne. Nodules are inflamed, painful deep bumps under the skin. Cumdones that are 1 mm or larger are called macrocumdones. They are closed cumdones and are more frequent on the face than neck. Solar cumdones are related to many years of exposure to the sun, usually on the cheeks, not to acne-related pathophysiology. Management Using non-oily cleansers or mild soap may not cause as much irritation to the skin as regular soap. Blackheads can be removed across an area with commercially available pore cleansing strips or the more aggressive cyanocrylate method used by dermatologists. Squeezing blackheads and whiteheads can remove them, but it can also damage the skin. Doing so increases the risk of causing or transmitting infection and scarring as well as potentially pushing any infection deeper into the skin. Cumdone extractors are used with careful hygiene in beauty salons and by dermatologists, usually after using steam or warm water to open up the pores. Complementary medicine options for acne in general have not been shown to be effective in trials. These include aloe vera, pyridoxine, fruit-derived acids, campo, ayurvedic herbal treatments and acupuncture. Some acne treatments target infection specifically, but there are treatments that are aimed at the formation of cumdones as well. Others remove the dead layers of the skin and may help clear blocked pores. Dermatologists can often extract open cumdones with minimal skin trauma, but closed cumdones are more difficult. Laser treatment for acne might reduce cumdones, but dermabrasion and laser therapy have also been known to cause scarring. 
Macrocomedones can be removed by a dermatologist using surgical instruments or cauterized with a device that uses light. The acne drug isotretinoin can cause severe flare-ups of macrocomedones, so dermatologists recommend removal before starting the drug and during treatment. Some research suggests that the common acne medications, retinoids and azelaic acid, are beneficial and do not cause hyperpigmentation in skin of color. Rare conditions, Favreau-Uro-Rakoch hot syndrome occurs in sun damaged skin and includes open and closed comedones. Nevus comedonicus or comedo nevus is a benign hematoma of the pilospatious unit around the oil producing gland in the skin. It has widened open hair follicles with dark keratin plugs that resemble comedones, but they are not actually comedones. Dowling Digo's disease is a genetic pigment disorder that includes comedo like lesions and scars. Familial dyskeratotic comedones is a rare autosomal dominant genetic condition, with keratotic papules and comedo like lesions. References